My name is Mpundo Mzobe. I come from Newlands West and I am an aspiring 100 meter sprinter. For now. Okay, so my childhood memories. Uh, I wouldn't say that I was, I grew up thinking of being a sprinter because I did obviously I did a lot of sports growing up um, but I know one thing that I, I always used to run um, at a very young age I know even when my parents used to say me I, I just always used to run the one memory that I have was when I was doing uh, 100 meters of school because there was one guy who always used to beat me at school, the 100 meters. And then my, my school, I didn't come from the greatest primary schools. So um, the 100 meter field had ditches. Right? I used to trip before the finish line. So my mother always used to make fun of me and say, oh, you're just diving and what's so on. And she still makes those jokes. The one person who's been there for me and who's, who's, who has guided me in, in everything that I've done was my mother. Um, I mean, I think she's my everything in terms of uh, sports, academics, um, emotionally she's there. From my, my sporting career, she's been there from, from day one and even when I, I was on tour, she was the one who's always there at night, late at night, uh, asking me questions if I'm good, if I didn't perform well, she'll be the one who's there um, making sure that I'm okay. I think she's the one person I'd say uh, she, she's my role model and a person who inspires me, a person I'd really like to become like when I grow up. Athletics is a very mental game, you know, at, at times you, you get to a point where you're just like, oh, I'm tired, you know, but uh, I get myself speaking to myself in my mind, asking myself, I'm sorry, do you really want this? The most important uh, thing in training is, like the start doesn't really matter, but the finish, because that's where it gets the hardest. That, that's where it determines whether you want to be a professional athlete or you just want to stay as a mediocre. It's a very mental game, so you have to prepare yourself going to the 100 meter line. Um, you have to be positive. You, you don't go there thinking about anyone. The first thing I get there, I don't think about anyone. I just try and just think about my race. The one thing you want to do is to be positive and, and knowing that you're gonna run the race and finish it. But during the race, uh, 100 meters seems long when you're there. And if you have a, a good start from the get-go, I think everything is just, just happens positively. But if you mess up everything from the start, uh, it, it's a bit hard uh, recovering. The most important thing as an athlete, uh, you have to believe in yourself. Everything starts in the mind, so I think that's one place you, you, you gotta control. Uh, I want to be an Olympian, uh, looking five, 10 years from now. So I just wanna be that consistent sprinter who performs all the time. When you're doing something as a person, it doesn't have to be sports, anything. Uh, you will get people who tell you you can't do this, you can't do that, um, and you, you you tend to believe them. And I feel like there are many dreams that have been um, damaged or broken because of people telling them that you can't do this or you can't do this. So the one thing um, is that whatever you do, um, it might be something different from what people think, but uh, just just find that drive for you to, to keep on going. If you're working in your purpose, if, if you can find your purpose, 
and work in that i think uh, you can always go far they they're self-motivated they don't need anybody from the outside or external forces telling them how to, to run their lives or how to get to where they want to go everything will just come together and just keep praying Is that a dog?